Success is a grilled cheese. And I'm not messing with you here. Bear with me. When I was growing up, I had grilled cheese sandwiches, right? And I had the best grilled cheese sandwiches. I mean, my mom made an amazing grilled cheese. Two pieces of white bread buttered on the outside, two wonderful pieces of American cheese on the inside, and then cooked to an absolute golden perfection. That was my idea of a perfect gold grilled cheese. From the time that I was eight years old to the time that I was 35 years old, that was what I wanted when I wanted a grilled cheese. I had lots of other grilled cheeses out there, but they were okay from time to time. They weren't really grilled cheese. They usually had more than just cheese in them. That wasn't a grilled cheese sandwich to me. That was a sandwich. Yes, it had cheese. Yes, it had toasted bread, but it still wasn't a grilled cheese sandwich. And then when I was 35, 36 years old, I was introduced to a new grilled cheese sandwich. One from Disney World. And I had this grilled cheese sandwich and it was amazing. So that was my new favorite grilled cheese sandwich. And we had to learn how to make it. And that was a trick because it was no longer just two pieces of white bread with butter on the outside. It was two pieces of artisan bread, preferably sourdough, with a garlic mayo on the outside. Then on the inside, you had a cream cheese that was actually blended with shredded cheddar, two pieces of cheddar cheese, provolone cheese, with Monterey Jack as well. That was all then put together and put onto a singular sandwich, but it couldn't be cooked until golden brown on either side, otherwise the cheese wouldn't melt. You had to cook it. And the moment you put it on the grill, you had to cover it so it'd melt the cheese on the inside. Then you had to flip it precisely and then flip it again and then let it cool just enough so you could cut it in half because it was kind of an ooey gooey goodness. And that was an amazing grilled cheese. And the first four or five times we tried to make it, it was a disaster. We overcooked the bread. We undercooked the bread. We didn't mix the things right. We put too much cream cheese on it. We didn't put enough cream cheese on it. It took us months to figure out, even though we had the recipe. We even had the cooking instructions as well. We knew how much cream cheese. We knew what kind of cheese. We knew how to cover it. And yet, it didn't come out right. Success is the same way. We think we know what success is. It was taught to us at a young age. We have an idea, we have a picture. Then we find an idea that we attach to, that we love, that we like so much. But even when we have the recipe, the first one, two, three, four, five, six times we try it, it doesn't come out quite right. Because just like the recipe, we and our abilities of cooking are different. We don't have the same cookware. We don't have the same equipment. We don't have the same cheese. And the ingredients on the inside could be different. Your Monterey Jack could be different than my Monterey Jack. You might use a different brand of cream cheese than I do. And we all have to find how our ingredients fit together to make the ideal, most immaculate cream cheese, cheese sandwich out there. So just like success, we think one thing. We know how to do it. We learn how to do it. And we have an idea. And then finally we find an idea that is more attractive, more appealing, and yet we're not sure how to do it. So with that being said, success. Mm -hmm.